Uh, even though I had played uh, Assassin's Creed, GTA 4 and MGS 4, uh, it was uh, the first Uncharted game which uh, really made it feel like uh, um, I felt the generational jump from PS2 to PS3 uh, because uh, it had m more going on at the same time I, I remember the part of the first Uncharted game when I felt uh, this is special uh, it was the part where there's a broken broken bridge by a waterfall and uh, a car comes driving up as you're climbing some uh, rocks uh, by the fall uh, and you shoot a barrel on the car or next to it, I don't quite remember uh, and it explodes and you have to jump on the car uh, or run across it to the next platform before it all crashes and goes uh, away and it was that moment when everything all that happened uh, it felt like I, I felt like this is a new ki kind of experience and it was really exciting uh, of course I hadn't seen anything yet uh, and I do find it curious that it was uncharted to uh, make me feel that way because it wasn't really that impressive like uh, uh, the graphics wasn't that great uh, really uh, I mean, M MGS4 did look better, and the, the it had more uh, attention to the guns and so forth. Uh, the animations and water effects were better in Uncharted 4, of course, uh, and it wasn't uh, an ugly game at the time. Uh, so. Yeah, it was fun. It was a it was fun to experience that uh, fresh uh, generation feel. Uh, I don't think I did have that on PS4 with the first game I played, which was in Famous Second Son. It was uh, that's not what I'm going to talk about, but uh, it was a similar feeling that I am playing on new hardware it's something new and exciting going on so naturally when Uncharted 2 came along I was excited for that as well uh, the new environments they showed off and it looked like a much bigger adventure and it, it looked amazing uh, of course, uh, many remember Uncharted 2 as uh, the best game in the series, with good reason. Uh, I play through them every once in a while and Uncharted 2 is my favorite by far. Uh, it's just so well paced and uh, the characters are so good in it and fitting. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a shame really that Uncharted uh, 3 uh, ended up feel feeling so rushed and uh, left uh, plot holes and uh, it felt uh, needlessly dark like it didn't have to go where it went it could have stayed like a happy well, happy Indiana Jones adventure, kind of, uh, but it uh, felt like it had to go deeper to unravel 
uh, things about the characters that they then didn't do anything with. It, it felt really unnecessary uh, to me. Uh, but it was still a good game. Uh, it did have. Uh, it was prettier, had bigger set pieces. Uh, yet they had shown shown it off in trailers already. I mean, when if you think about it, in they ha showed a really short announcement teaser at the beginning, and at the end they show like a quick flash of uh, all the major set pieces, like. If you had seen that, like what a minute long teaser, you had seen the game, which was uh, disappointing. Uh, and as far as uh, Naughty Dog's talents go, Uncharted 3 is probably their worst game. And that says, uh, says a lot because it's still a pretty good game. Uh, it's just not the game you'd expect from the developer. They should have been given more time or something. Uh, hopefully they're, they've learned better how to develop games after that. Uh, because the way they developed that was they built the story around set pieces, which just doesn't work. Uh, like, uh, there's a part in the game where Nathan Drake, the protagonist, chases Talbot, uh, uh, antagonist in the game, uh, through a part of uh, a city. And in an interview they said they knew that Nathan would be chasing someone through that uh, uh, the streets yet they didn't know who or why and uh, really the when you're playing the game it feels really nonsensical like why is the bad guy running away from his friends when he could stay there be backed up and Nathan would be quickly subdued and in the end it doesn't really matter the whole chase scene. While it's uh, impressive and uh, fun it doesn't serve a purpose which is uh, uh, which happens too often with too many set pieces in that game uh, Just it's just not uh, a good way to build a game I'd say with my vast experience uh, uh, still uh, the guys who made uh, The Last of Us which is by all means a masterpiece uh, I'd say it's the best game of last generation uh, uh, the those are the same guys that's now making Uncharted 4. Uh, I find it's really funny that people are afraid that they will make it too dark. Uh, too dark after Uncharted 3. Uh, I don't really think uh, people need to be afraid of it going too dark because it's all it's uh, they already made it too dark or uh, well not those guys because they were busy making the last of us at the time but uh, it, it was a separate team um, uh, yeah so I have high hopes for uncharted for so far they haven't shown too much which I, I I love it. Uh, what they did show was they showed 
a short teaser, then a, another short teaser, both of which showed no, little to nothing, just the overall theme and look of the game. Then at the PlayStation event, or what's it called, last year they showed the first demo, and the d gameplay demo they th showed was just ordinary gameplay, which still was very impressive. That's how you show off a game. You don't show the most impressive parts of the game, you show the game and it's still good. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, this E3 they also showed another gameplay demo, uh, which was impressive and I hope it wasn't uh, like uh, if you've seen this, now you've seen the game. I doubt it because uh, these same guys handled uh, the the Last of Us uh, very well as well. They showed the very little and I played through The Last of Us and felt surprised throughout the game. Uh, and when I got to the part that they have shown a lot of, I still still was surprised when I played it myself, which was nice. So I have a lot of faith in these guys, and I do hope Uncharted 4 turns out great. And I hope you do too. Oh yeah.